Like pretty much every single character who appears in Kuon, Lord Fujiwara's tale is not a happy one. Not much is explained about how he reaches the state you find him in either, and once again, you're left to piece the puzzle together from various in-game files and even the occasional outside media. So, who was Lord Fujiwara, and what really happened to him? Let's take a look and find out. Somewhere around the beginning of March, Lord Fujiwara started to notice strange things afoot at his manor. There seemed to be a strange sickness sweeping through the place, and tales of monsters in the night. As such, Fujiwara sent out a request to both Doman and Abe no Seime to please investigate these strange occurrences and get to the bottom of what was going on. Doman used to work for Lord Fujiwara as an exorcist, but a series of questionable events saw the pair go their separate ways. Still, Doman and Abe no Seime were the best exorcists in the land, so Lord Fujiwara summoned both. Doman, living nearby, was the first to arrive. He begins his apparent investigations, but of course, unbeknownst to Lord Fujiwara, Doman is actually the person behind the infestation at his manor. Doman is trying to carry out the Kuon ritual to revive his daughter, Kudeha, and naturally, things aren't going quite so well. Entirely unaware of all this, Lord Fujiwara is awoken one night from his sleep. He heads out to investigate, unaware of the eyes watching him from the shadows, and stumbles upon a horde of spiders. He panics, stumbles, and his lantern goes out. In the darkness, a figure grabs him and then drags his unconscious body through the manor to a wading wicker basket. That figure is Kudeha, and she dumps him inside before joining him. This is not actually shown in-game, but rather from one of the early trailers released to promote the game, featuring brand new animation just for the trailer. This takes place on the night of March 23rd, and in an inspection report in the game, the author mentions heading to Lord Fujiwara's quarters the following day, March 24th, but the servants reveal that they haven't seen him all morning. Lord Fujiwara is now gone, and nobody is quite sure where. Over the next few days, there are numerous reports of sightings from the manor's servants, although the Lord doesn't appear to be his usual self. By April 2nd, the same inspector realises that Lord Fujiwara is dead, and it is now up to him to protect the man's family. While it might technically be true to say that Lord Fujiwara was indeed dead, he certainly wasn't gone. After spending a night in the wicker chest with Kudeha, the pair merged. This is all part of the Kuon ritual, but naturally, the merger didn't go quite so well. What emerges is Lord Fujiwara's body, but now he's a monster, not fully himself and somewhat looking like a human spider. He hangs around the manor where various servants see him, although nobody in power actually believes them. Lord Fujiwara is the first real boss battle in both the yin and yang phases of the game. The events and timeline are a little weird, but you fight him as both Utsuki, Doman's daughter, and Sakuya, Doman's disciple. The objective is to obtain the bell he guards so that you can summon his daughter, Ayako, out of hiding and progress through the game. But of course, as you reach out to grab the bell as either character, the monstrous Lord Fujiwara appears and attacks. The fight itself is not too difficult, and once Utsuki or Sakuya has finished him off, they grab the bell and then leave. Mission successful. As you leave the room, his dead body lying on the floor, his body starts to shift, his neck turning in an impossible way, as a head emerges from it. It is, of course, Kudeha, now free to roam the manor again as she looks for her next victim. And that, ultimately, is the end of Lord Fujiwara. Little is mentioned of him again, although you do later run into his even more horrifying wife when you play as Sakuya. I'll leave a link in the comments if you want to check out our video on her. Lord Fujiwara once ran a successful manor with his loving and happy family, but 
like everyone else Dorman came into contact with at this point, lost everything, including his own life, becoming a monster during Dorman's attempt to resurrect his own dead daughter. But what do you guys think about this one? Are there any other lore videos you'd like to see? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.